One of the hallmarks of Deer Park Baptist Church is the way we welcome each other with warm and generous hospitality. We have not been able to do those very things as we always have for the last four months. You can see one another shaking hands, an arm around the shoulder, or even a hug. More than that, we find ways to give and make each other welcome. We do it all the time. But right now, we're not able to. Paul, in this letter to the Galatians in chapter 4, has some words for us that may be helpful. It's about hospitality. He says, Friends, I beg you to become as I am, for I also have become as you are. You have done me no wrong. You know that it was because of a physical infirmity that I first announced the gospel to you. Though my condition put you to the test, you did not scorn or despise me, but you welcomed me as an angel of God, as Christ Jesus. My little children, for whom I am again in pain, the pain of childbirth until Christ is formed in you, I wish I were present with you now, and I could change my tone, but times I get perplexed. Still, I want to welcome you and thank you for your welcome. The rule of St. Benedict was written about 1,600 years ago. Benedict was a monk in the church, and he put together a group of followers that they met and lived in a monastery. His rule, or his guidelines for the monks, have been used for 15 or more centuries to order the lives of other monks who live in intimate communities of faith. One rule occasionally makes its way out of the monastic order and into the larger Christian world because it has this one sentence, and we will understand it. Benedict says, All guests who present themselves are to be welcomed as Christ. That's the kind of language that Paul just used. In this passage in Galatians, Paul writes to express his thanksgiving for the church's hospitality to him. They had, he writes, treated him as though he were Christ. That's in verse 14. They hadn't just been nice to Paul. They had met every need, including the ones that probably meant sacrifice on their part. In Paul's world, hospitality could mean the difference between life and death. In our world, however, we've often reduced hospitality to the level of etiquette or casserole or just a shaking of the hand. Maybe we should take another look at Paul's model of hospitality. Back in June of 2002, on a beautiful spring morning in Missouri, special news came on the air of a shooting that happened in an abbey located in a farming community just in the northeast part of the state. At 8.40 a.m., a lone gunman had entered the basilica he killed two and wounded many other members of the Benedictine community that lives there. They were following the rule of St. Benedict. No motive was ever determined for the killing. The violence that day left a scar on those who experienced it even at a great distance. But the reporter's interview with the abbot, the leader of the, the group of monks, was perhaps the most memorable part of what happened that day. He astonished the reporter when he talked about the monks' practice of hospitality, about their goal to receive everyone who came to them as if it were Christ himself. The doors of the basilica were never locked. They would continue to be remaining open to the world. They would not even let the danger of a gunman who might threaten them deter them from their biblical understanding of hospitality, an understanding that might trace its source to Paul's letter to the Galatians. What we heard Paul say in those words are what the monks of the Benedictine Abbey do. You may have received a small three by five card from me occasionally that has maybe the word God bless you on it or peace. Those cards are all made by the monks of this Benedictine Abbey. It's called the Printery House. Monks don't just sit and pray. They always have a job. And so when I use their cards to send notes, I often think of them 
and their hospitality, even when an awful tragedy happened. They never closed the doors. They continued to do the work that God has given them to do. May we keep our doors and hearts open and do the same. May we pray for just a moment. Father, we are challenged sometimes to be hospitable and welcoming. We receive that same kind of care and love from so many people, but we wish to be able to give it as an exchange of love. We pray you'll help us during these days of being separate and apart to still find ways that we can reach out with love, of welcoming and kindness to others. Thank you for the words of Paul and the example of these men who live in the Abbey in Missouri. We pray this in the name of Christ our Lord.